Welcome back to Let's Play Deathspank. I'm Burning Dog Face, and we're here in beautiful Le Beau Kukel. Or I need to talk to this gentleman over here. Uh -huh. Now, I wrote it down, but uh, see if you can remember what the combination was before he says it. Greetings, Locksmith. I don't know. Tell me in the comments if you got it right. Let's see. I need you to forge me a new key. You'll have to give me the key I already gave you first. I agree. It's important to recycle. All right. What does the lock look like? It needs to have a... circle and a... diamond and a... Horseshoe. Oh, this should do the trick. Away! He didn't even say thank you, which is odd for him. If I could just remember where in God's name that was. I want to say it was over there. Where the switch was. Yes! Yes, the lever that controlled the uh, drawbridge. There's nobody on this side of the camp, so I'll just kill this guy just to be on the safe side. Oops. I don't even know what I just hit. I was aiming at a person. Grenades, great. There you are. You were supposed to die in a fire, but okay. Oh. Couldn't carry that much bazooka. Wait. Oh, still, yeah, okay. Fair enough. Excellent! I don't have anything to use with this. I don't think the Lost and Found counts items you just can't pick up, but, you know, we'll check later. Oh no, I guess I'll just go straight to there, huh? And then beam back over here. Here's a useless tidbit. The reason outhouses have a moon on the front was originally to show you which gender was supposed to use it. You would make outhouses with a sun and a moon on them, and you would have one of each. I don't remember which one was which. I guess eventually they decided that uh, segregating a single occupant room was... Uh, Kind of pointless, so people would just build one outhouse, and for some reason the moon was the symbol that stuck in the, in the uh, public eye. You guys really, really need to change your definition of elite. I'm just saying. You know, given that you totally suck and all. No, you fucker. Interesting. More 
skeletons. I don't need them deader. Wait! I just walked right past the radio tower, I just realized. Damn it, I should not have been thinking that hard when I walked over here. Once I was actually, uh... Oh, fuck this. Oh, right, I don't have the spinny one anymore. Hmm. Well, that's four. I don't have the slightest idea where I'm going right now, by the way. Hey, it's the Navy captain! We're not in the jungle. Okay, right there, just to the left of the captain, is a weird flower shape that makes me think more of the, of the abstract backgrounds from SpongeBob than an actual flower. Greetings, Captain. I have your orders from the Army General. Thank you. It's about time he sent us these. Undeath sword, full of undeath energy from fallen soldiers. Hmm, but it's only 200. Hmm. Oh, I missed that. Yeah, okay. Still missing a couple of pieces. I guess that's just the only one that shows up. What about the oil? Greetings, Captain. Ask for oil, and you will receive oil. Yay! Jolly good. This will get my ship back in ship shape. But now that I'm all full of oil, I have new semen. There's an obvious joke in there somewhere, but I'm not quite crafty enough. A band of jungle greens shanghaied my crew. I'm a bit of a jungle fighting expert, so leave it to me. I am pretty sure shanghaiing is when you trick someone into joining your crew, so I'm not sure why he used that word. Right, the undeath sword. I'll just put that on. That will be fine. Wait, what do I have? Oh, mighty fire grenade. Hmm. Interesting. Damn. How cool this thing is. Almost forgotten jungle. We almost forgot that forgot it, then we saw it on the map. Right in the face. Oh, hey, money. this guy. I wonder if the thonga lifts are more important in this game. Hello there. Why, if it isn't my old friend, thonga lift researcher. Yo, oh, thank goodness the hero Death Spank is here. I'm a researcher trying to gather data on the ancient thonga lifts spread across the land. But the roads to these thongoliths are too dangerous for me. Now, I have this instrument that can take the readings I require. But I need someone who can actually get to the thongoliths. I'll take your readings, researcher. Oh, how wonderful. I need a reading from the thongolith in the jungle. Just drop this instrument by the thongolith for a few seconds, and it will gather the data it needs. Oh, and if it happens to get damaged or lost, you can just come back and I'll give you a replacement. Scoop's War Journal. 
D3, my first big assignment. I'm so excited to be in the jungle investigating the jungle greens. This story is going to blow the lid off expose journalism. I don't know what it does, but it does it precisely. I was not targeting. But it's okay, he's dead. I'm gonna stand over here. That was a good call. I don't know if there's anything over there. Why am I waiting? The hell is this? This may shock you, but I'm not actually that surprised that they turn out to be uh, the Viet Cong. I remember there was a bunch of these in the first one, but I don't remember which ones I looked at already. I'm also wondering if that conversation I had with the guy just reused the same lines on his end. Day... Fuck. Day 2055, I think it was? Yeah, day 2035. The Green Queen is, like, you know, she just, like, whoa. Oh. So Greems are goblins, and Orcs are Orcs. That would have uh, been clearer if I had subtitles on, but unfortunately I am a real person and cannot activate subtitles. The Thongolith of Compassion. You know what? Okay. Oh good, now there's one with a gun. Holy mother of crap! Oh man. Maybe I wandered too far. Sorry, I thought you were dead. God damn it. I don't think I actually had to do this in the first game. I might be remembering that wrong. I will freely uh, own up to that. Greetings, researcher. I seem to have misplaced that instrument thingy you gave me. Not a problem. Here is another one. I bought them in bulk. Oh, thank you. I'm glad that was not stressful. Very toasty on this side of the map. Okay, let's see. You know what? Maybe it's bazooka time. And I'm just gonna put regular ass grenades on. Yes, that should do it. Oh, let's get rid of that. Do not spend that money at church. What do you spend money on at church? I don't know, the collection plate, maybe.
Okay. They're immune to undead damage, I believe. For the moment. Oh, good. Two of them have died, and they just keep spawning. Fuck! Just keep on kiting. Their shots are too slow if I keep moving. I keep telling myself that, and... No, no, I'm not going to give up until all these guys are dead. I'm not going to wander off, because I don't think I'll be able to get them back. No! Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh... I didn't hit both buttons. Oh. Oh shit. Retreat, I tell you, retreat. Well then in that case, uh fuck, I just realized what I did there. Uh, yes, yes, right. Actually no, this one, because uh oh god. Fucker. Just keep shoving nachos into your mouth. It'll be great. There we go. I had a lot of nachos. <laughs> this is silly. Let's use up all my ammo. It'll be great. Stop trying to get fancy about it. Let's do this, and it'll be great. I do want to try that airstrike thing again, because that was cool. Uh, there it is. Okay, that was fun and satisfying. Victory is mine. Trinket of Maternal Energies. A piece of highly questionable jewelry. Uh, okay. Maternal means something related to mothers, so I don't want to know where that energy comes from. These numbers are off the chart. Probably makes me probably make me quest for that chart next. Thumbleth of Compassion readings. Compassion is the one given to the nun. Yes, right, because Santa Claus is generosity, not compassion. I really like the way the world seems to be a cylinder that rolls, kind of like an Animal Crossing. But more pronounced. Greetings, researcher. I have your reading from the Thunglith in the jungle. Excellent. The data gathered is perfect. Thank you. Can you help me one more time, Death Spank? I need a reading from the Thongolith in the Cactus Forest. That sounds like a joyous place. Remember, drop an instrument by the Thongolith for a few seconds, and it will gather all the data it needs. As a joke, I'm just going to drop it over here by this outhouse and give you outhouse readings. Oh, there's the timer. 
great white north gloves. This enchanted ice is perfect for serious to intense adventuring. Hmm. I kind of want that set, you guys. Ice flavored, named after Canada. How can I go wrong? Oh, right. Uh, yeah. I if I do talk to you. Greetings, researcher. So you want me to get readings from which thongolith? I need them from the thongolith of cuisine. It's up in the cactus forest somewhere. What can you tell me about the thong of cuisine? Are you asking for a lunch recommendation? Well, I don't know. Try Tina's taco stand. Good times. That was a nice callback. Goodbye, back. researcher. I did really enjoy the quest where I had to get a very specific taco. I guess I'll just throw myself back in the town so I can you know, be centrally located, if nothing else. Then I will make sure I don't have any quests to hand in right now. Nope, I don't see any of those icons. Good. So, till next time, I'm Burning Dogface, and I will see you on the next episode of Let's Play Death Spank. Thong of Virtue. Thongs of Virtue, yes. Plural. Thongs of Virtue. Ugh. When we uh, get to questing, explore the jungle, and uh, kill a whole lot of stuff, I'm guessing. Later.